Hi everyone, this is Tanya. Welcome back to Black Women Read, reviews of books, zines, and everything in between. Valentine's Day is soon approaching, a day dedicated to roses, chocolates, sentimental greeting cards, sweet red wine, and candlelight dinners. Our society spends literally billions of dollars to celebrate this day. However, despite the push of romantic love in our culture, most people have a hard time defining love or even really know what love is. About a month ago, my job hosted a training. In one of the workshops, a coworker led a discussion on the topic of love, specifically using Bell Hooks' book, All About Love. Bell Hooks is an iconic black feminist. She paved the way in writing about the lived experiences of being black and female. All About Love was published in 2000. Hooks examines modern love in quote, believes that in American culture, men have been socialized to mistrust the value and power of love, while women have been socialized to be loving in most situations, even when their need to receive love goes unmet. My coworker posed three questions for us to reflect on. One, how do you know you're giving love? Two, what barriers might you have in receiving love? And three, with a partner, discuss how do you define love? The person I partner with, we struggled on all the questions, but especially the last one. The word love has been so misused in our society, it's made it difficult for most of us to define love, despite being bombarded with images, movies, songs about love. In the first chapter of her book, Hooks writes about the importance of defining love. She notes, Imagine how much easier it would be for us to learn how to love if we began with a shared definition. The word love is most often defined as a noun, yet all the more astute theorists of love acknowledge that we would all love better if we used it as a verb. I spent years searching for a meaningful definition of the word love and was deeply relieved when I found one in psychiatrist M. Scott Peck's classic self-help book, The Road Less Traveled, first published in 1978. Echoing the work of Eric Fromm, he defines love as the will to extend oneself for the purpose of nurturing one's own or another's spiritual growth. Explaining further, he continues, love is as love does. Love is an act of will, namely, both in intention and in action. Will also implies choice. We do not have to love. We choose to love. Since the choice must be made to nurture growth, this definition counters the more widely accepted assumption that we love instinctually. She goes on to state, To truly love, we must learn to mix various ingredients. Care, affection, recognition, respect, commitment, and trust, as well as honest and open communication. Hooks also writes, we need to treat our children with respect and justice so they can develop their self-esteem and self-worth and learn how to love others. She explores the issue of honesty in relationships, the fact that men are encouraged to lie to women to control and maintain power in romantic relationships. She writes extensively about our society's views around power and domination and believes that contributes to the often troublesome relationships between men and women. Hooks further implores people to start a healthy, spiritual, not religious, journey in order to offer true love to another person. And finally, in All About Love, she talks about the urgency of having a sense of community and belonging to feel and give love. It's been a minute since I've read Hooks All About Love, 
So the workshop was a great refresher on the importance of this work. It's a perfect time to revisit the book as we have experienced a shift in our culture that has been of late rewarding, cruel, hateful, and mean-spirited behavior, especially to those most vulnerable in our society. While the book mostly looks at romantic love and heterosexual relationships, really the overall theme is about how we all need to retrain ourselves from the limited ways our society promotes love, and also how we need to develop self-love and self-acceptance before attempting to love others. What I also enjoyed about the book, it's an easily digestible read. I remember reading an article with Hooks years ago. She says she made a conscious effort to write her books for the everyday person, as too many academic books are not accessible for most people. So if you want to think more deeply about the word love, and go beyond the binary of how our culture defines love. All About Love will make a great addition to your library. Thank you for listening, and I will see you at the next video.